CASA is extremely important because it helps the children that can often get lost within the court system of family court. Imagine being one of these children and in an instant, because your parent has had an issue, you're removed from everything you've ever known. You're removed from your home, you're removed from your parents, and you have no idea when you're gonna be reunited with your parents again. And now you're stuck either in a foster care, maybe with a grandparent or a family member if you're lucky, but ultimately your life has just been turned upside down. So if you're a child, especially a young child, can you imagine the fear and the uncertainty that goes along with that? When you have a CASA volunteer, they become that permanent source to help that child during this extremely stressful period in this child's life. And that's truly what a CASA volunteer helps in this process. I joined CASA to be part of an organization that helped children. And the thought process was to help these children who are suffering because of their parents' mistakes and hopefully break that cycle so it doesn't repeat itself in the future. CASA is important because of the why. Why the volunteers are here, why the staff are here, why they are doing what they are doing for the children. The children need our support. They need us here as a constant in their lives, and CASA provides that. My personal connection to CASA was by accident. I had just moved to Elizabethtown and was looking to get involved in the community. I knew someone who was on the board, and um, they taught me a little bit about CASA and asked me to join in a meeting. Everybody has different kind of talents and services, and as a board member, you, you probably have some connections and some ability to raise money to help the organization thrive. The real meat of the organization at the end of the day lies within the volunteers. And those volunteers have such a special skill set to be able to relate to these children in their time of need and to be able to connect with them and work them through this process. Someone should be a board member or a volunteer for CASA because they care, because they care about the kids, because they care about our community, and because they want to help the kids and the community. CASA is fundamental in the success of our children in our community. Without CASA, our children are neglected and ignored, and with CASA, they have a chance at success. One of the things that I think is important uh, if you're exploring being a volunteer, is you actually should just try it. Uh, go through the process. There's a significant amount of training that's involved. You're not going to go out cold. We're going to make sure you're extremely prepared to deal with and help these children. Even though you may not feel today that you're completely qualified, we will help you. CASA will help you. And do not underestimate the difference you can make in a child's life by being present for that child.